Well, welcome to uh, week four. It's really hard to believe, isn't it? Uh, at the end of this week, you'll be one quarter of the way through the uh, semester. Okay, so um, this is the week you may have noticed that you're really kind of working on refining your topic choices to one topic that really fits you. And I really, really encourage you to find a topic that teaches you something important. Okay, this class is for you. It's not for me. And, and I've read a gazillion research papers, and I really want to read one more about you and your research and how it fits into your own life. I don't want to read something dopey like abortion or gun control or those kinds of things. I've already said, stay away from that. Okay, so I'm not going to go over that anymore. Okay, um, so basically what you're going to discover this week is that research is a path of discovery. You don't really know what you're going to find about your topic until you start working on it. And that's why I'm driving you in the discussions. Uh, if you look at discussion number, uh, let me double click over here, da, da, da. discussion number uh, 4.6 and, uh, excuse me, 4.7, discussion number 4.7, narrow your topic, okay? And what I'm telling you to do is do some research in LexisNexis and or in Academic Search Premier and get started on your three topic choices to find the one that most suits you and also the one that has the most available research on it, okay? If you're a little stumped, Please go ahead and use the Ask the Librarian feature. Um, having a little trouble with my browser this morning. It's item six. You can ask the librarian for some help. Don't wait till the weekend. Okay. Uh, so basically what you're working on is this week four discussion where I'm driving you towards two Helmkey Library databases. Okay. You have to go to the Helmkey Library webpage. You always have to start there. It doesn't do you any good to bookmark those database pages. You have to start with the library page to actually get in them, okay? And the whole point here is to get you away from Google. I love Google. I use it every day. But you can't use that in real life or in uh, uh, academic life or business, business life because there's too much garbage out there. The library databases that you're a member of, okay, because you go to IPFW, uh, they drive you towards articles that are peer-reviewed articles that are looked at by other people before they're published. That's the difference, okay? On Google, anybody can put up anything they want there, okay? Not so in a library database. These articles have to be serious. They have to be well thought out. They don't all agree with each other, but they are looked at by other people before they're actually published, okay? So you get some measure of authenticity to them. So that's why I'm driving you in that direction. And then we started off with three ideas, and now I'm trying to push you down to one idea. And very often you follow the path of least resistance. You go with what actually works, okay? So if you find good research on one of those three topics and you find that you're interested in it, then go with that, okay? That helps you narrow your choices down to the one topic. Now that said, what you have is you have, uh, in addition to the discussion, which is absolutely critical, uh, discussion number 4.7, narrowing your topic choice, you have two actual papers that are due at the end of this week, okay? Uh, due uh, Sunday night, September 18th. You have the Unit 1 journal, okay, and that is described very thoroughly in item 5.2 in the learning module. Sometimes I notice in my browser Firefox, I have to double click on the uh, black title of that area, okay, it's called five, item 5, writing assignment to do at the end of the unit. You need to double click on that sometimes to expand that to see the actual links that are underneath it. The links are in green. So, for example, item 5.1 tells you how to format your paper. This is critical. Do not turn in improperly formatted papers. There's no tolerance for that. It's like anything else. You have to put your best foot forward. I can always tell the good students from the poor students. All right, right away, okay, if they format their papers correctly. It's that simple. It's not rocket science. Okay, then item 5.2 tells you what's expected in the journal, tells you how to do the journal. Item 5.3 is the actual link for the journal, all right? Item 5.4 tells you what the topic paper is, what's expected in the topic paper. Then item 5.5 is the actual topic paper itself, the actual link for the paper. So you have one discussion due this week. It needs to be very, very thorough. and You need to respond to three other people. Okay, if I don't get in there, just respond to three anybody's, all right? And then you have the topic paper that's due, and you have the journal that's due. These are critical projects. They help you brainstorm, they help you critically think, and they give me some ideas how well you're doing in the course so far, how well you're uh, critically thinking, all right? They tell me if you're paying attention, and then they give me a good idea about what your topic's gonna look like, and then I help you with that topic. Guess what? Once you turn that paper in, once you turn in item 5.5, you may not change topics. This is it. So please take this very, very seriously. I'm gonna repeat, you may not change topics after you turn in item 5.5. If I reject your topic, which is very rare, instead what I do is I tell you to focus, 
that could be a possible exception to the rule. But I won't reject out of hand the topic. Instead, I will tell you that you need to focus it slightly different. It's like a camera lens. You know, you can point the lens over here on the wall behind me. You can point it on the blinds over there. Or you can laser right it in right to my eyeball, right in my brain, okay? That's what I'm looking for, a really, really sharp focus. So there's some chance I'll cause you to shift your focus a little bit, okay? But I, I, uh, I'm terribly unlikely to reject your topic outright. So once again, once you turn your topic paper, that's your topic. Okay, focus may shift a little bit depending on my input, but that's your topic. Can't change. Okay, so as usual, if you have questions, you know how to get a hold of me. Please get a hold of me early in the week. Don't wait till Friday afternoon. Football time. Okay, so um, stay in touch. Okay, bye now.